Hey, how's it going? Chris here. Going to take a few minutes and show you my landscaping wire solar feeder cable project. I have made several of these and uh, I want to kind of show you how I did it. I got this 12 2 landscaping wire at Lowe's. I did get some at Home Depot for another project, but I don't recommend the Home Depot stuff. It is not as good as this Lowe's 12 2 landscaping wire. So what I did is put some MC4 male and female connectors on here. I forget the name. I think they're Sun Dallies, but I'm not sure. But I used double adhesive heat shrink on here and here. This is that it sets up really hard just to add a little bit more protection to it. And then on the split down here, I added another little piece right here so it doesn't pull apart. It it takes a lot to pull this 12-2 landscaping wire apart anyway. So I just added it on there for good measure. But uh, if you're ever wanting to do it yourself, make your own solar cables on the cheap and you're pretty good with, uh, I don't know, doing stuff like this, I guess. This is something to consider. 12 gauge, yeah, it's 12 gauge, so but it's a short run, so it's not too bad. I'm gonna be running higher voltages anyway, but it uh, should work out pretty good. All right, I'm gonna tin the ends of this 12-2 landscaping wire with my solder pot. I'm going to do this one-handed <laughs> and see how it goes. Dun, da, da. Here we go, here we go. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> there we go. Pretty. What this does keeps them from fraying and stuff. And I'll probably put a little red that piece of heat shrink on one of those ends there, so be cool. Yeah. All right, something like this. All good. All right, just checking the impedance, making sure the cable's good. All right. All right. I just ran that 12-2 landscaping cable. The reason why I built another one was that uh, this is a shorter piece. So there's less uh, current to push through a longer cable and just ran it in here to the bedroom. Right down there, right down through here, and this is just temporary till I can drill a hole or something and just plugged it into the EP Ever MPPT solar charger. And I looked at the power before and it was running I was running a uh, series series and then parallel, so my voltage was about 30-ish. And now that I've got them run in all in series, all four of those solar panels in series, I'm getting about 62 volts and a little bit more power. I was getting about 254, now I'm getting about 268. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Success. Now I just gotta drill a hole or something so I don't shut the lid on this cable here. I'll figure something out. Alright, cool. Thanks for watching.